Good evening, everyone. Susan Campfield here with SueStampfield.com. Hmm, I don't know if you can hear me. Hold on. The microwave, microphone's across the room. Hang on. We got cords everywhere. Holy cow. <laughs> there we go. Good evening. Susan Campfield here with SueStampfield.com. I hope you are doing well. Please let me know in the comments if you are able to hear me. I believe the mic is plugged in and we should be good to go. Um, I see a number of people here watching. Jean's here. Leanne's here. Uh, hello, Jean. Can you hear me? <laughs> let me know if the sound is. Amanda says you can. Thank you, Amanda. Appreciate that. Um, you can hear me. Yay. Excellent. We are off to the races. Good evening, everybody. You're not seeing my face because my face is not pretty tonight. <laughs> I'm scruffy. It's um, it's super. It was warm here today in Minnesota, and I took a really long walk, like uh, well over four miles, and got back with the dogs. And I've kind of been uh, scrambling ever since. So um, we're gonna look at pretty stuff down here tonight, or cute, fun stuff. And we're not looking at me. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. Um, it is. Uh, it was beautiful today. Now the temperature is dropping rapidly and there is it's very windy out there. I can hear the wind just howling. So a perfect night to cozy down and just craft. So welcome to my craft room. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Um, we're just gonna, it's just like, like you're over and hanging out with me, only you don't have to look at my face. <laughs> how about is, how is that? Um, and okay, we've got, let's see, Bonnie's here, Patricia's here, Mary's here. Awesome. The gang's all here. Thanks for sharing, Bonnie B. I appreciate that so much. Now, some of you are on my Sue Stampfield Facebook group. Um, some of you are over in my uh, Sue Stampfield business page, or excuse me, Susan Campfield business page on Facebook, or you might be right here on YouTube um, in the live. So wherever you're joining me, welcome. Tonight, we're going to play with Valentine's again. In the last video, I shared a lot of, um, a lot of Valentine ideas with you. And I said we would do more tonight. So that is indeed what we are doing. Um, we are playing with a free celebration set. Um, I love the word free stamps. <laughs> it's, it's one of my favorite words. Anyone else with me on that? And so this one is one of the free choices in the celebration catalog. Um, we are actually going to be playing with two um, oh, no travel in uh, North Dakota, extremely windy, whiteout conditions. Ooh, yeah, nasty, nasty stuff. It's a good day to stay inside, right? So we're actually going to play with two celebration um, items. So if you place a $50 order, you can pick up the awesome otters. I'm guessing a whole bunch of you have already picked these up because they are so darn cute, right? Um, and if you haven't, uh, you're going to want to jump on that. Celebration only goes through the end of February, and most things are wall supplies last. The other item that we're playing with tonight is this gorgeous paper. Um, this is called a Simply Marvelous. So it's a little play on the words there. Um, it is marbled paper, and it's uh, Simply Marvelous marbled paper. So we call it Simply Marvelous. Um, we have a number of colors here. We're going to be using the Blushing Bride tonight, of course, because we are doing a Valentine card, right? Um, now the other side is just, oh my gosh, it looks like satin, doesn't it? Reminds me of like a super fancy box of Valentine chocolates that's lined with um, satin or something. So I see it looks like I'm freezing up a little bit on my end. I am sorry about that. I am guessing it might be the the windy conditions outside. So uh, bear with me here. Hopefully we will keep our connection and it will all be good. I've got little bits on my desk. Is your desk like that? You got we're actually gonna we're gonna use these tonight, but I got tulip parts, I got otter parts, <laughs> I got stuff everywhere. Um, and I I went to go live and I realized that the embossing folder we're using tonight. Um, had a uh, pool party ink <laughs> in it um, from, uh, uh, yeah, and I'll show you that from before from <clears throat> my team. I remember from a long time ago when I did that. Yeah. Guess who never washed out her embossing folder. So I'm like hoping it will dry <laughs> before we use it. But if it doesn't, it'll probably just make the paper even more embossed, right? So we're going to create a Valentine card with the otter set. And I've got some other uh, samples of otter cards to show you. Um, 
but I want to show you the card that I that inspired me for this to make this card. Now, my um, this was made one by one of my team members. It was a thank you card that she sent me. Terry Snyder, who lives here in Minnesota as well, sent me a super sweet thank you card like she does so often. And I just love her cards. Um, so this is the darling uh, card that she made with the otters. Obviously not not a, um, a Valentine set. I should probably call them their correct name. They are called Awesome Otters is the name of the stamp set. You are utterly awesome. So it was perfect for the thank you card that she sent me. And she also used the marvelous paper. She used a different color than we're using tonight because guess what? It comes with a whole bunch of fun colors. And she used this one right here, which I believe is balmy blue. And um, I'm glad that you made it. Mary Ellen, it's windy out there in... Uh, in Montana, I'm guessing it is. So um, somebody said they, uh, yeah, that does sound scary. And when you got on the wrong side of the road, oh my gosh, yeah, whiteouts, you can't see that line. And it does get very scary. So um, Terry used the balmy blue version of this uh, Simply Marvelous paper for the background for her otter. Um, this is the other side of that paper. And I've also seen a number of people using this one with the otters because they both look like water, right? So that the, this paper goes really well. So $50, you get otters, another $50, you get marvelous paper, you're spending $100 and you're going to get a whole bunch of other stuff too that goes with that. So we're going to play with some other things. Now the dies that Terry used, hey Teresa, um, the dies that Terry used for this card are actually from the uh, the Rainbow of Happiness Bundle, I believe. That's where that die comes from. Super cute. And then she used an embossing folder, which I'm going to use that same one tonight. Um, and it's a two-pack. And I don't remember what they're called. Does anyone know off the top of their head what the name of those embossing folders are? Oh, found it. Stripes and Splatters 3D Embossing Folder. So we're going to use that tonight. Um, now with, with Terry's card, it really makes it look more like water. And um, that splatter, do you see it just looks like water droplets there? Um, I don't know what it's going to look like on this because I'm weighing this, guys. I haven't actually made this card. So dang, we're freezing a lot. Um, let's see if our connection uh, whoa, comes back. Freezy, freezy, freezy. So sorry about that, everybody. Um, yep, I'm frozen again. All right, I'm just going to keep going in the hopes that this will record well and that we'll get there in the end. So I do apologize for the, the freezing conditions there. Um, so we're going to use that same embossing folder and do that kind of splatter effect. And then she also used it on the right side of the card um, to do some splatters. So you can hear me okay, Sherry? Okay, thanks for letting me know that. It's very frozen a lot on my very jerky on my end. So I was concerned it might be that way on your end. I'm, I'm hope, hoping it's not. So, um, okay, let's continue here. So, um, so this is the, the kind of the model that we're using for our card tonight. And um, let's go ahead and get started. So I've got my uh, Simply Marvelous paper. I already cut that. So I can put that aside here. And we are using um, some dies from the mini catalog. They are part of the Sweet Talk Suite. Can't tell if I'm freezing up right now or not. So same on your end, freezing on and off. Oh, so sorry about that. Um, it's the Sweet Conversations bundle and we're using the Sweet, uh, they're called Sweetheart, Sweethearts with an S on it, dies. Um, so these will be uh, kind of critical in our card tonight. So we're going to use this one. I think we're going to use this one. I think we'll probably use this one. And I think that's it for right now. Oh, wait, no. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I think we're going to use these two. Little bumpy Patricia. Yeah, so sorry about that. 
I'm hoping that it records well for YouTube. If not, I might have to redo it, but that's all right. We'll get there in the end, right? Thanks for hanging with me. All right, so we're gonna use these dies out of the Sweet, uh, Sweet Hearts uh, die collection. And do I have everything I need? Uh, the other thing we're using, no, nope, I don't. <laughs> the other thing we're using are the layering circle dies. Who has the layering circle dies? These have been around for quite a while. They are a really great staple to have in your uh, craft collection because they're just a whole bunch of circles and they come in very handy for a lot of things. These are the ones that I'm going to be using tonight and we'll try and figure out. Let's see. This is the one, two, three. Four, five. I used to have these numbers and the numbers wore off. So this is the uh, third from largest that we're using. And then the scallop that is just slightly uh, larger than that. And then we're using the second from smallest and the scallop that's just slightly larger from that. So yeah, you guys have the circles. Yeah, they're awesome, aren't they? So uh, I think we have all our things. And the, just to let you know that the circle that Terry used for her cute otter is one bigger than this. And you can even go one smaller. It just, here, I'll show you what that looks like. I thought it was a bit too small for what I was doing. Um, it, 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 but it does just fit on that um, smaller size. So it doesn't have to be the same one I use. There's some flexibility there is what I was getting at. So let's go ahead and get a, let's use our little mini. I love using this little one for videos because it just fits on my desk so much better. Um, I usually die cut across the room, as I've mentioned before, and this one um, doesn't take up quite so much space. So I'm going to pop this open. And um, I'm actually going to move it out of the way. Let's stamp an otter. That might be critical. Can't die cut it if I don't stamp it. So I have a piece of white here. It's quite a bit bigger than what I need, but that's okay. I can use the rest for something else. So we're going to stamp our two greetings here, or one greeting and our little otter dude. So I am making this up in the Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I'm going to color this with uh, Stampin' Blends. And this is the preferred ink for using Stampin' Blends. I'm also going to uh, stamp the Your Otterly Awesome. Now, if you don't have Stampin' Blends, there's a number of ways you can color your cute little otters. You could use a water painter or a paintbrush and an ink pad and or an ink refill and just ink that up. Or you could... Um, use your watercolor pencils. Um, I did a video not that long ago about five different ways to color. So uh, any of those methods would work. Um, and so we would then cut these out with the circles that we were just looking at that I covered up. <laughs> so, and I say we would because I actually already had these die cut. So we're gonna use the ones I already have cut out, but that's exactly how I would die cut those. And so let's do the magic of TV here. Voila, look, they're all die cut. Um, I only did that because when I color with Stampin' Blends, I like to stamp and let it dry for at least 10 minutes, um, sometimes longer. And then the ink is less likely to bleed. Um, it just works well for me. So, um, so I did pre-stamp them before we started and pre-die cut them. And I also die cut out the matching scallops that I was just talking about. So those are going to match up there with our uh, little otter. But what we need to die cut is these other pieces. So I'm going to pop these away because I did just want to show you which ones I use because I'm always curious, like which, which circles is it? Because there's a lot. <laughs> um, Cardstock would be super handy right now. Let's see. I need a piece that's small enough that fits in my little machine. So we've got some embossing to do. We've got some die cutting to do. Let's go ahead and get to it. Um, so I have a piece of the Simply Marvelous paper here. 
and we're going to do some die cutting with our mini. So I want to grab my, uh, my number one plate and that's for embossing folders. And then I just need my, we'll need that embossing folder one in a minute. So hopefully it won't go too far away. So we'll put our number one and then number two, we'll put our paper in. I need the handle on the right. I'm a righty. Any other right handers out there? All right, so we're gonna die cut this piece right here. This is an adorable little envelope that, actually think about this for a second. Um, no, that's okay, we'll go with this way. It's an adorable little envelope. And in the last video, I showed how you can make this into a heart, which is exactly what we're doing tonight little heart pocket. Oh my gosh, you guys. I need to slow down. It's just like butter. It cranks through so easily. All right, so I've got that die cut out. Now I'm going to go to this little scrap of, flip my plate over so it doesn't get too curly. I'm going to go this little scrap of blushing bride cardstock and I'm going to die cut some other things. We're going to do this little set of hearts. We're going to do this little set of hearts. And do you remember that little heart we had over here? So this little heart says, love you. It is from the sweet talk paper. And we're going to die cut that out as well. It has a matching heart in the Sweethearts dies, which is right here. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble saying Sweethearts tonight, but <laughs> I sure am. All right, I'm going to grab a post-it note because the last time I attempted to cut one of these little hearts, um, I didn't put a post-it note on it and it moved on me a little bit. So the dies match the paper, which is awesome. You can also, of course, stamp your own heart if you have the Sweet Talk stamp set, which I do. Don't know where it is right now, but it's here somewhere. All right. I am just, sorry, I'm off camera a little bit here, but I'm just securing this with my Post-it note. My Post-it note's hanging over a little bit, so I'm just going to fold it. All right. I think that's not going to go anywhere. These guys have lots of room. They can kind of fly around a little bit, but I don't want that heart moving on the bottom. All right, we'll crank that through. Oh, don't move, don't move. Oh, it's moving. I can tell it's moving. Dang. All right, we might have to cut another one. It shifted on me a little bit. Don't think I had, I think I should have put it higher up. We'll see. We'll see if we can live with it or not. Mm, it's a little wonky. Yeah, we're gonna make it work. <laughs> I could cut another one. That's, that's, I got a whole page full of them, but. So this die cut out the little string of hearts here in Blushing Bride. And then it gave me some bonus pieces with these little Blushing Bride hearts. Hang with me, guys. This is all going to come together. I promise. Same with this one. These are vertical hearts. And it gave me this little chain of hearts and some bonus hearts. I want another one of those vertical hearts. You might already know where I'm going with that one, having seen the card that I based it off of and that fun die from the uh, rainbow set. And we're going to go ahead and put this back in and send this through. Denise is ambidextrous. That is cool. There we go. Let's pull this out. All right, so we got some more hearts. I got hearts everywhere. Woohoo! And then we have this piece. Oh, one heart stayed around. I want this, uh, the frame that's left over. And then I'm going to die cut one more of the other 
little chain of hearts. So like I said, this one is vertical up and down. This one is horizontal. I want one more of the horizontal and I'm actually going to do that one. There we go. Oh goodness, wrong one. I want the scarred up one on the bottom and I want this one out of a different color. This one I want out of petal pink. which is right here. That's just a kind of a little more peachier pink and a little bit lighter color. You could also go the other way and you could go with flirty flamingo, which is a little darker. All right. <clears throat> we got all these fun things we cut out. What are we going to make with them? Woohoo! It's exciting. All right. For this one, I really, it's the hearts I'm after more so than the string of hearts. I'm really curious what flirty flamingo would look like. I'm going to grab a scrap and let's take a look at it and you guys can give me your opinion. Looks like our freezing up situation might have corrected itself, hopefully. All right, so this is flirty flamingo. This is blushing bride, which it would be paired with. Um, that's not bad. I am, I like options, you guys. I like options and then I'd love to get your advice and have you help me decide some of the elements on the final card. So let's do this. Teresa says it's much better, the freezing. Yeah, don't know what that was about. So, all right, got those cut out and it's the little hearts I want. So I'm gonna slide that over there. Ooh, you guys, we've got a lot of fun stuff here. We're going to create something really cool. All right, but we have one more. I got to, I got to capture this out of my die. I wonder why that popped out so easy. I had this one still stuck in it. So hopefully these actually cut out because sometimes they won't if you've got something else in there. Oh yeah, they're fine. All right. So the last thing we're going to do is emboss um, a piece of that pretty designer paper, the Simply Marvelous paper. And we're going to use that 3D splatter embossing folder. It also comes with some stripes, but we're using the splatters tonight. So we're going to go back to, what do we need here? We need, um, I'm, I'm reading here, use with 3D embossing folders. So that is the winner right here. So we need number one and number four, and then our paper and our embossing folder. So that's all we need for that. I would never be able to remember what goes with what. It's all just right here on the platforms. Thank goodness. So I don't even have to remember it because my memory is not so good. All right. So I have a piece of that um, Simply Marvelous paper. And I'm going to put that in this splatter folder that was wet a little while ago because I rubbed ink on it. Let me show you what that looks like. I rubbed it with um, Pool Party ink and embossed it. and so. Um, it gives you a real um, watery look, right? So that's just another option. But our paper is already marbleized, so we don't need that tonight. Yes, I love that too, Roz. Having those instructions right on the plate just makes it all so easy, right? You don't need a cheat sheet. You don't need any look anything up. It's just right there on the pieces you're using anyway. Brilliant, right? All right, let's see what it looks like. Ooh, I like, do you guys like? Reminds me of, um, what do you call that on a stucco, on houses almost, super cool. All right, and then we're also going to, on Terry's card, she had some of that over on the side. So we're copying her. Uh-oh, I have a problem. Do you see what my problem is? We're not going to copy her because if I do that, I have to get my bigger machine because this only goes through one way. That is the one drawback with the little machine. So that's okay. We're going to, we're going to skip that part. Yes, I have my big machine across the room. I could grab it, but I'm not gonna, unless you guys tell me I really need it. I think we're going to be okay without it. So we've got our uh, blushing bride here. We have that pretty piece of uh, Simply Marvelous paper. And we have those vertical hearts that we die cut. So those vertical hearts um, are going to tuck right back here. Okay, that's where 
that's where that embossing might be nice because that those hearts would would pop a little bit more they actually are not even going to be able to, you know what i might put them on top because if i put them underneath you can't tell their hearts anymore i think i'm going to put them on top and then they look more heart like and then I'll just put another set here and oh my gosh, they fit perfectly. Look at that. Wow. So this uh, piece of paper is a four by five and a quarter. And the designer paper here is three by three and seven eighths. So let's go ahead and stick that down. Let's hope Susan's got a seal at their head at the ready here. So you know what? This side would be really pretty too. I'm going to go a little subtler with this one though and we're going to use the other side so i'm just going to put some seal on my paper here so i'm a little bit off camera there my apologies all right and we're going to just layer this right on here like so and then i'm going to grab a scrap paper Now I could have put these on the adhesive sheets um, to have adhesive at the ready. I did not do that because I thought I was tucking it under. Um, so I'm gonna go with my other trick um, and that is put them on top, very pretty. Okay, you guys agree with me. Awesome, thank you. Uh, hold on here, I am looking for, here we go. looking for an old embellishment container that I can use to put a blob of glue in <laughs> so um, found one I have a lot of them so I'm just going to take an old sponge here and take some of this glue and I'm just going to sponge on some of the glue And then we're going to adhere those right onto our card. And I'm just lining it up so that the center of the heart lines up with the edge of the paper. And then I put a little more glue on this one. It's super sticky, so you don't need a lot. A little dab will do you. And I just can't get over how these, how perfectly these fit. <laughs> I thought I'd have to trim a heart off and they're... Um, bring that in so you can see and they fit like perfect all right so we've got our row of hearts going down now well I'll show you in a minute okay so we've we've got our card started here guess what we need a card base all right here's our card base so we're going to fold that in half this is basic white your standard good old eight and a half by five and a half for those of us in the u.s that is kind of our basic card size and we're going to layer this right on top all right now we're ready we, we got it really pretty now we're ready to make it super cute flipping it over sometimes when you score it the like it's a little off so i just put what i mean by that is so you can see that there just is a little extra ridge here um the front hangs down longer what i just made the front so that nobody can see that um all right let's bring in some little otter fun here so we've got uh our otter all die cut out we've got our um your otterly awesome greeting there and we're gonna go ahead and get this out of the way, but we wanna color our otter. I'm a little sticky here, so I'm gonna stay in this section. <laughs> and I wanna slide it up so that you can see. All right, so we're gonna color our otter and we're gonna use the um, Crumb Cake Stampin' Blends and the Petal Pink Stampin' Blends. And I'm going to pull it a little closer towards me I want to make sure you can still see but um, I need to see it too <laughs> or I'll make a big mess right so I'm using the light petal pink 
to color his tummy. And I'm not really caring about going outside the lines of his tummy because I'm going to be covering all that up with crumb cake and I could just go right over it. So I've uh, covered up his tummy there. I'm just going to take the dark um, petal pink and I'm going to just color in his nose. And I'm just going to add a little bit of shading down the sides of his tummy. But I want it mostly, mostly as pale as I can get it. Again, not worrying if I go outside the lines because I can cover that up. All right, so I did his nose in the dark, mostly the light for the tummy, added a little bit of dark. The otters are so cute, aren't they? And then now we're going to color our otter. So we're going to, again, do the same thing. We're going to go with the light first. Sure we are, Susan. <laughs> Couldn't get the cap off. That's the kind of day I'm having. So I am just quickly coloring with the lights. Crumb cake here on our cute little otter. Lisa, didn't you do a, did you do an otter card for our team swap? I've got some, car, some otter cards over here on the side along with some Valentine's that I want to share uh, at the end before the end of the video. Um, don't remember if one of them is one you did or not. Get our little paw in here. And you gotta do the little feet. So cute. All right, so we've got our otter colored with the light one. I'm actually going to leave that cap off for a minute. Nobody freak out. I'll put it on in a sec. <laughs> I'm going to go to the dark. And I'm just going to add a little bit of shading. Ooh, that's pretty sloppy, Sue. It's okay, because I can go back in with the light one and blend out any little boo-boos. It's like magical. And if I really mess up, I've got the color lifter, and I can just like sort of erase it. It's awesome. All right, a little on his hairline there. Now well, that's that's good enough here. Uh, okay, little shading on his armpit. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go back in with the light here and do a little bit of blending. Again, thanks so much for hanging out with me in my craft room tonight. So much more fun stamping with friends, isn't it? Even if you're virtual. So I'm going over everything a second time, and that's blending out all of the harsh lines of that darker color and adding another layer of, of, of fur <laughs> on my little otter. All right, so he is all colored. So let's bring that up and see what he looks like. Cute. So cute. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put some adhesive back on him. Now, that is the thing with the Stampin' Blends. If you're doing it correctly, it should bleed right through your paper. And this paper I'm using is um, the Thick Basic White. I like the Thick a little better when I'm using blends. You can also use the Shimmer uh, White. That's really pretty with the, the blends too. All right, so I've got my little otter stuck down. Oh my gosh, she's so cute, you guys. And we're gonna put a little adhesive on our Your Otterly Awesome. And pop that on right here. That's going to go over on the side. I realize belatedly that by doing this the same color, it's a little bit hidden, that scallop. But I'm going to pop that up on a dimensional like Terry did on hers. Now hers stands out a little more because she's got it embossed in the background. But I think by the time I get that dimensional on there, it'll, it will like it better. All right. So we've got our cute little otter here. But you know what? It's Valentine's Day. So our little otter is going to be holding a string of hearts right like that. So I'm actually going to, um, so with this particular die and could have done it with this border die too, you can um, inset another color inside. So that at the beginning, I cut two of those strings of hearts, one in petal pink, one in blushing bride, because one, I wanted the little 
hearts to put on the inside and one I wanted the um, the the frame. Does that make sense? So we can do it that way or so look at that one. Everyone look at that. This one is frame in petal pink, excuse me, frame in blushing bride hearts in petal pink. Okay. But of course we did it twice. So we have another option here. Only hard part about this other option is I didn't keep straight which hearts I cut with which, and I don't know if they're interchangeable. We could do the frame in petal pink. And the hearts inside the frame could be Blushing Bride. I have a lot of hearts in my desk. Some are from this and some are from this. And I don't know which. <laughs> I don't know which or which. So we'll see if they're universal or not. Now that one's a little bit too small. So I might have to hunt up the right. I should have. Darn it. I should have kept them separate. I didn't think about that. It did not occur to me. So, all right, so that's the other way. Which way do we want it? Do we want the frame in petal pink or do we want the frame in blushing bride? Do, 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 do. I like them both. I don't know that it matters. Um, I might go the other way. I'm not, because honestly, the other way would be easier because I only have those three hearts and I know they're the right ones. <laughs> first option all right all right someone's in agreement with me yay we're going first option all right so we have these uh this little chain here that we're gonna put on and i'm just debating i'm gonna go ahead and sponge glue on the back of this um i just think that's the safest way to proceed i can use glue dots on the little hearts that go inside of it how about small hearts and flirty flamingo oh hey that's right we cut another option didn't we all right, well, let's go ahead and glue this on and we'll take a look at that before we commit to anything. Who is that? That was Patty. Good, good uh, hearts and blushing bride. Oh, no. Uh, oh, Denise said we should try the flirty flamingo ones. I totally forgot about it. That would be quite a bit brighter, wouldn't it? All right, so I just sponged a little multi purpose liquid glue on the back of this little heart. Um, what you call that chain, I guess, that he's holding. And we're going to try, I got a flirty flamingo heart. Where the heck did the rest of them go? <clears throat> Maybe we can't do those. <laughs> I only see one. Oh, flirty flamingo is pretty cute. You're right, Denise. I like that. That means I might have to find the other ones. Hold them up here so you can see. I've got glue on my finger so it's sticking to me instead of the Okay, that's what the flirty looks like. It really pops, doesn't it? Let's see if your um, hearts and blushing brides stand like, yep. Uh, Roz, which ones show up better? The flirty? Um, but that means I have to find, if I can't find it, we'll just cut another one, won't we? Ha! Seriously, where did they go, you guys? Does anyone else lose stuff on their desk or is it just me? <laughs> They're probably static clinging to something, but it's okay. We have more paper. We can we can fix it. Flirty, flirty, flirty. Everyone is voting flirty. So we're going to just, um, unless you guys see where it's hiding, because I sure don't. Okay, we're going to cut another one. Because guess what? We have more paper, right? <laughs> we always have more paper. All right, we're going to. pieces here. We're going to go back to the die cutting setup. Maybe they're stuck on the plate. Don't know where they went. Do not know where they went. There's one right there. On the second one. But I'll be darned if I know where that third one went. Okay. Bring our floaty flamingo back in. You know as soon as the video ends it will show up, right? Oh, Patty likes it with the two hearts empty and the one in the middle. And of course, you could also go with hearts of different colors, like conversation hearts are. So many options, you guys. So many options. I'm going to try it in the all three flirty because I'm super curious on what that's going to look like. I did, did locate one more heart. <laughs> 
I just cracked myself up. Stamping Adventures with Susan. That's that's what we're doing. All right. I, I like the flirty. They're, they're super cute. But you're right. You're absolutely right, Denise. You could do a whole bunch of different ones. Myrtle also likes it with one heart. All right. I told you. What did I say? As soon as I die cut it, I'll find it. Guess what was stuck on the, my floor right under where the little machine was? <laughs> So we don't even need this for now, but I have it all set for my next Valentine, right? They're all ready to go. That is so funny. Seriously, the second I cut it, it shows up. So funny. All right. All right. So here we have our little critter. Who is cute. There he is with the three hearts. We've got our utterly awesome right here, and we're going to pop this up with a dimensional. All right, you guys all like the one heart better, so you know what? I'm going to listen to you because you are all smart. So we're going to just hang out with the middle heart like that, and this little paper chain there. You're right. It looks nice. I agree with you. You guys are so smart. And should we pop that up on a little mini dimensional? Why the heck not? Mm, no, maybe not. Maybe it should be just right in the thing. Yeah, let's just go with a glue dot. But you could pop it up, right? We're not going to, but you could. The three flirty hearts look cute too. Thank you. I think, I think it, you know, there's no wrong answer here. It's going to be darn cute. Um, I decided to do that one flat because I am going to pop this up on dimensionals and just thinking ahead to postage and thick envelopes and, uh, and that's, um, we'll keep that center one a little bit flatter. So we've got our cute little um, otter here. Now you could overlap it. I am like Terry did with this one. She overlapped the center a little bit. I'm not because I want those hearts to show, right? Um, and then, of course, <clears throat> you're stamping with Sue Stampfield. So that means we're going to have to add some bling. Got to do it, guys. Just got to do it. We don't have to do it, but we can do it. And it's fun. So we're going to do it. All right. I don't know if it needs ribbon, Jean. That's a good question. We can look at that in a minute. Um, so these are the Iridescent Rhinestone Basic Jewels. And they are part of that Sweet Talk suite. And they are iridescent. You can see they have like pinks and yellows and all sorts of fun colors in them. You get uh, big ones, medium ones, and little ones. And I'm just going to put a few random ones on here. I'm going to do a little one, actually. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do another medium one over here. Make our, my words pop out a little bit there. So we've got our three gems on there. And on the inside of the card, we're going to come back to this and decide if we want ribbon. But first, we're going to pop ahead to the inside of the card. And if you recall, I cut out that little envelope. Come here. <laughs> out of our um, Simply Marvelous paper. And so with this envelope, it has... Um, three sides that are the same and one slight side that is slightly different uh, curve to it that's probably meant to be the flap but it doesn't matter for what we're doing because we're going to make it into a heart so I'm going to fold up two of the flaps I'm going to try to keep two that are the same at the top um, this one's not this one is the smaller one it's not going to show because I'm going to fold it up like that and instead of doing the full heart pocket, which looks like this when you do the full pocket. I am doing, um, I'm not doing one of the flaps. So it is a heart shape. Does that make sense? So you can see it on this. And this card, by the way, was done by Colette Thiesenvitz, which is one of my team members. And then this card, which shows the heart pocket, was done by Sue Nuremberger. And let's go ahead and grab our uh, mini glue dots. 
and I'm going to just stick one of those on. How big is that little envelope? That's a really good question. Do you mean the finished size, Lisa, or the size of the die before it's assembled? So look at that cute little heart. You could put a little piece of chocolate in there or something. I posted on Instagram on my Facebook page, we were talking about our favorite uh, Valentine candy, whether it's conversation hearts or Valentine chocolates. I got to tell you, I'm all over the chocolates. <laughs> all right, so I'm just putting some adhesive on there. So this heart shape, let me give you the dimensions for that. Freezing on Facebook, but not on YouTube. Weird, that is weird. Maybe it's a Facebook issue. So this heart is a little over two inches. If you do it as a heart, it's about two and an eighth inches wide. And the size of the pocket square. So when it's made into a pocket and you'd want to put something in it, it's a hair less than one and a quarter. So I would say one and an eighth would be a tight fit. One inch would be perfect for something to slide in there. And it is... Uh, basically square. So uh, a one by one would be completely hidden. You could put a one inch by two inch and have part of it sticking up. Hopefully that helps answer Lisa's question. All right, so we've got our little pocket here and inside that pocket, we're going to put the heart that we die cut that shifted on me <laughs> that says, love you. Now this heart, um, I'm going to stick it right in there and I'm going to put it on with a dimensional. Um, we also could do hug me, which is also really cute, especially with when you're dealing with cute little otters. Um, these hearts came from the Sweet Talk paper. This particular pattern is the one they came from. So all of these hearts can be die cut out with the dies in the, in the paper, in the sets that we just used or you can hand cut them if you want um and so you've got text me you are cute hug me you know you are cute would be really cute in here too <laughs> um so but i'm gonna do love you because that's just sweet and so we're gonna put that on a dimensional and right in the pocket so making a valentine card it actually does not say happy valentine's day anywhere um, it certainly can. We can make that happen if we want. I have the stamp right here, but they don't actually have to say it. I mean, it's pretty obvious, right? <laughs> like, oh, I wonder why they sent me this card on February 14th. Um, I think that's pretty obvious that that is a Valentine card, right? Uh, but we just happen to have from the um, Sweet Heart, no, the Sweet Conversations, what's it called? Sweet Conversation stamp set. Um, the happy Valentine's Day. So you know what? We've got it. Let's use it. I'm going to put it right above that heart. I'm going to do it in the Blushing Bride because that's kind of our been our theme tonight with this card. And there we have our happy Valentine's Day. Love you. Who wouldn't need a little love in the mail, right? And then there is the front of our card. It would be a cute baby card, Jean Fitch. That would be adorable. You could do welcome baby over here. So many different things you can use. Now I have a bunch of other samples I wanna share with you, uh, but somebody asked if we need to add ribbon here. So what do you guys think? You know me, I'm always up for a little ribbon action. I just so happen to have the carried over glittered organdy ribbon here. And you could do a little knotted bow, faux bow, not really a bow, it's a knot, and it's easy, and we are cool with that, right? It's also wild. Come here, you. <laughs> I'm just going to trim those tails down nice and short. Maybe you need to go a little shorter. We'll see how we go. And that could go right there, which makes it very girly. But you know what? It's all about pink anyway, so it's pretty darn girly anyway. So that's okay, I think, right? Let's throw on the ribbon. No ribbon. No ribbon. Sunny boats, no ribbon. It's pretty cute the way it is. I have to agree with you. Let's see what it looks like with the ribbon. There's the ribbon on there. So a little more frou-frou-y. It would be fine either way. 
And then here is the one that Terry Snyder did. Um, you could do a girl and a boy, right? So you could actually have this one holding um, hearts as well. You could even do them in blue and white um, and make that a Valentine too. So, uh, or this would be cute for a baby boy as well. Um, so that is our card. Let me show you some more samples here. So I have otters. I got a pile of otters. <laughs> And some sweet talk. All right, let's let's uh, let's look at some Valentines here. This one is by a Tammy Nelson here in Minnesota. And she used the tag die from this set of dies. And I really like how she embossed the Valentine's Day in white on black and then cut the letters, of, the words apart so that they would fit uh, with her theme. And she used the gingham embossing folder. This next one is uh, has no name. Oh, no. Oh, no name on it. Uh, but uh, they just stamped the little uh, conversation heart stamps all over to make their own background. For a really cute, simple um, Valentine card. You know, just made their own kind of designer paper there. And this one uh, has a vellum circle that kind of softens that busy paper behind so that the You Are Cute stands out a little bit. Uh, more. This one is by Barb Mulliken. This next one is um, three panels. I'm going to say they're one inch by three. And this one is by Brenda Taylor, which actually reminds me <laughs> in the last video I shared this one, which is the, the so, so Brenda used three different patterns for her Valentine and shorter pieces. This one is four by one inch pieces. And this one was by Tracy Jacobs. It didn't, her business card got um, separated from her swap, but she saw it when I, she saw the video and she commented that this was her card. So I wanted to make sure I gave a shout out to Tracy. Um, and then this one, hey, looks similar to kind of similar to what we did. So they actually just took the, who is this by? This was by Gail Connolly. And she actually took the cutout hearts and um, put them on a piece of string and made her own chain of hearts. Uh, so that it swings down. Um, she used the um, love and happiness uh, bundle there to do the open heart. Really cute card. And this one is embossed. A little bit of uh, sparkle in there, probably Wink of Stella. And then she did the otter on the inside as well. So super cute. Speaking of otters, good segue. Let's look at some otter cards. This one was done by a uh, team member, Amanda Martin. And this is with the picture of this dies. So she's got one of each of the otters represented there in one of the little circles. And this one was by Brenda Hilliard. And she actually used the, oh my gosh, I'm not going to remember the name of this paper. It's in the annual catalog. It's gorgeous. It has expressions in ink. <sighs> Thought of it. Um, so she used that with the, um, they called diorama dies. Um, to make it look like an ocean. Isn't that adorable? So cute. This otter is so stinking cute. And then one more. This is by Betsy Kreider. And it this again is that Simply Marvelous paper uh, kind of being water in the background. So those are some fun otter cards. I'm going to sweep. Now look at all these hearts that you have left over. I mean, you could put those around on the inside. I think I'll probably add those just because I have them and they're cute, right? So your excess cards could go inside. You could even not adhere them down and have them just kind of fall out when they open the card, which might be annoying, but that's an option, right? <laughs> so that's what we could do with our extra, um, our extra little hearts to not have those go to waste. So thank you so much for joining me this evening. Have a great rest of your night. Stay uh, warm and safe. And uh, we'll see you next time. If you are in need of creative ideas, um, you can subscribe to my project sheets. Uh, now that went out this morning. For those of you that have been waiting for that, let me pop that up. So if you're not a subscriber and you are um, needing more creative ideas, um, you can subscribe to my weekly project sheets um, that went out this morning with the uh, tutorial <laughs> for the tulips. Let me show you the card that was part of that. So 
I sent out this um, a, a project sheet tutorial to make this card, which has all three types of the tulips. And I, um, I did detailed charts, um, step by step on how to build all of the different styles of tulips that well, four of them that I've created with this set of dies. Um, and then it's step by step on how you where you put the dimensionals, where you put the minis, all mini mini dimensionals, where you put the glue dots, all of those things. So um, I enjoy that. I hope you enjoy that. And happy creating, everyone. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.